Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 5th of 2025 is titled Spiral Galaxy NGC 3370 from Hubble. So, what do we see here? Well, here we do see a spiral galaxy, in many ways much like our own Milky Way, although the difference here is that this is classified as a ordinary spiral galaxy or a normal spiral galaxy, which means that the spiral arms kind of wind directly down toward the core. Now, our galaxy, our Milky Way, is a barred spiral galaxy, meaning that there is a bar going through the center, so a bar of stars, and the spiral arms go from the end of that bar. And those are the two major classifications for spiral galaxies. Now, what is so interesting about this galaxy? Well, here we're seeing a Hubble Space Telescope image, but this galaxy is nice because it is close enough that we can measure the distance to it by a couple of different methods. And that is very important for us to be able to help determine distances to other galaxies. So this galaxy is close enough that we can actually image individual stars, very large and bright stars known as Cepheid variables. And these are known to pulsate and vary in brightness in a way that is related to their luminosity, how bright they intrinsically are. This is important because it, it gives us a way to measure distance. And we can then measure the distance to this. If we know the period of the Cepheid variable, we can figure out its luminosity or its true brightness. We can measure its apparent brightness, how bright it appears. And that way we can calculate a distance directly. Now, this galaxy is important for that because it's close enough, but it is also, in 1994, had a Type 1a supernova go off in the galaxy. That is another way to measure distances. Type 1a supernovae are considered standard candles in astronomy because they are all a very specific type of star that explodes, essentially a compact white dwarf star, the remnant core of an old dead star that is exactly 1.4 times the mass of our sun. So because they're all the same, the process is identical and therefore they will achieve the same brightness. So if we find a type 1a supernova, we can then measure its distance. We know how bright it will get really. We can measure how bright it appears and that allows us to calculate the distance. And because we can do this, this for two of them here, we can kind of calibrate those scales. And that helps when we look further away. We have another method to be able to determine distances and get better measurements of what is called the distance ladder, where we have to use multiple steps to measure distances throughout the universe. So steps that work from very distant galaxies don't work for nearby galaxies, and we have to step our way up using these. So when there's an overlap like this, it gives us multiple ways to measure the distance to a galaxy and calibrates those two measurements, allowing us to get more accurate measurements for even more distant galaxies. So that's what this will help us with. This will eventually help us to be able to better understand the overall distances and expansion of the entire universe. So that was our picture of the day for November 5th of 2025. It was titled Spiral Galaxy NGC 3370 from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.